and Kenny with Southern Rosie, and we are taking our um, we're taking a weekend trip. Actually, it's really kind of like a day and a half. Um, I'm going home. I'm very excited. So we're headed to my hometown of Dahlonega, Georgia, where I'm going to a class reunion, and I'm making him come with me. It's good. actually 12 years. Uh, we didn't get to do our 10 years because I graduated in 2010, and 10 years would have been 2020, and everyone knows all the craziness that was going on in 2020. Groups were not getting together. So we're going to do a 12-year reunion. I think it's supposed to be just some small thing at like a local brewery, and uh, it should be fun. No fi. No, no fi. No, no, no fo. No fo. <laughs> we don't know. We'll let you know. I think it's nofo n-o-f-o -O. no one's precise yes yeah. i think mean, yes it is september 17th saturday we left early this morning uh the reunion starts at two and we're bringing you along for the trip because you've been to Dahlonega, georgia it is a beautiful area and there is amaquilla state park which is actually dawsonville okay it's kind of between dawsonville and Dahlonega. it might have a dawsonville address but Dahlonegans, as i should let you know since i am one we Alabama. claim it too. So uh, it's kind of because it's in between. Uh, so we're anyways, we're staying there at Amicola Falls. And we're staying at the state park um, at the lodge. So we're excited to take you along, show you around. And there's like a million stairs there. And Kenny tomorrow morning is apparently going to make me hike up them, um, which I have done before. So he's like, it's like a bucket list thing. And I'm like, I've checked it off. And he's like, but not recently. Definitely longer than 12 years. <laughs> but anyways so enjoy, join us for that um, and hopefully we're going to have a good time just when we thought we were making progress so we got out of traffic and you know what was causing it they were planting the South Carolina state flowers along the highway traffic cones they were putting them up that's all it was. Just setting them up. We're gonna take them back down tonight. Do it again tomorrow. <laughs> they put it out for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> then they just hold up traffic, and then they're gonna take them up. Nice. We officially made it uh, to Dawsonville, Georgia, and um, which I know I said Dahlonega, Georgia, but I Dawsonville is like the next town over. And um, we met at the Allen Mall where I used to work. So going down memory lane here so that's fun and we are following uh beck and katie which if you're a part of our channel you've been following us for a while you guys met them we went to well when i went to universal without kenny because kenny's never been to universal uh and we're gonna head over to the venue right now so here we go I'm gonna go see some people i haven't seen in a really really long time i hope they don't notice how fat i've gotten they will Wishful thinking. Everybody got that. I'm hoping everybody has, yeah. It's not just me. <laughs>
today. I, uh, we got to Dawsonville and we went to the reunion and I got sidetracked by talking to people I have not seen. That's what reunions are for. That's right. I hadn't seen them in like 12 years, so I got sidetracked talking to people. she was around her friends from then, so. Yeah. And, you know, Beck and Katie were there, so I know I had them too, and we just, we just got busy. So, um, went to the reunion, had a good time, got to see a lot of people I hadn't talked to in a while, then we left. And uh, Beck and I drove over to her house and to grab a yearbook because we wanted to look at the yearbook after seeing all these people from school. Yes, we're adults like that. And Kenny came on over here to Amicalola and got us all checked in. And uh, anything exciting happened from that day? Nothing really. No. Pretty standard check-in. The lobby was gorgeous when I first walked in. The sun was just coming down into the big bay window there. Something. Yeah. This whole place is very beautiful. It is very pretty. I can say about this lodge is so far it's it's a very pretty lodge. The view is amazing. And you get like a view everywhere, like from the room, from the lot from the lobby, from the restaurant. You know, everything looks really mm -hmm. really pretty. Um we ate dinner. Yeah, we ate dinner here at the restaurant at the lodge. Start with the good side. The good side of dinner was that it was we had a nice corner booth or a corner table. And we were to watch the sunset. Yeah, so we had a really nice view for dinner. Right next to us was the porch where everybody else was sitting on the porch watching the sunset. Yeah. So we got to do it with food, food. and yeah. beverages. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. The, the bad side of dinner was that, well, I'll tell you the bad side, was that um, the food was like very mediocre. Like it kind of everything tasted like it was from a can. Yeah, it tastes like, like scalp potato seemed like they were from the box. Yeah, like, like vegetable medley seemed like it was from the microwave bag. Yeah, like you know when you're paying this much for a hotel room, and when it looks as nice as it does, you expect the restaurant to be, you know, really nice. And like everything was buffet, and I don't know, to buffet to me it just doesn't really scream high class. I know yeah. it's like an all you can eat thing, but with with this level of niceness, I expect, you know, sit down to be served. I don't know. Not buffet food. And honestly, I don't think I've ever ate a buffet where I thought the food was just gorgeous. Yeah. So, other than that. It was good. Didn't have to leave the resort, though, so yeah. that was one thing. It was an experience. Yeah. Um, so now we're just chilling in our room. We are about to go to bed. And uh, we will catch in with you in the morning. I think we're going to hike to the falls, right? We're going to do the falls. Yeah, wish me luck. Because it's like a bajillion <laughs> stairs that I'm really not looking forward to. We'll so. see y'all either at breakfast or after. That's right. All right, catch you later. So it's Sunday morning, uh, it's about 6.30 or something, almost 7 o'clock I think. I'm just kind of taking a little walk outside. Uh, I got up to kind of, you know, watch the sun come up a little bit, watch the sky kind of change colors. And uh, just you now I'm just waiting for Ed to get up. It's still dark, but it is lightening up outside. I'll tell you, this is a, uh, a gorgeous uh, ground, so. It was real nice having that sun deck. You know, where everybody watched the sunset. Um, we have our room was facing out that way too. So it was better to get out there with the unobstructed view. Yeah, I really like this place. The restaurant was probably the most lackluster thing. Everything else is great. The restaurant wasn't bad. This could be a lot better. And I slept like a baby last night. I think we went to bed about 9, 9.30. Didn't take long to go to sleep. 
and uh, the bed's very comfortable. I feel refreshed this morning, no headache. I always have a headache when we travel. No headache. I don't really even feel like I need coffee. I mean, I'm, I'm relaxed and rested. Listen. Yeah, I hope y'all heard that owl. That was kind of neat. One of the, sounded like one of the bigger ones, that little, little tiny things. Like the little barn owls. Um, but yeah, I didn't get to see him. And he stopped calling when I got close, so. He was more vigilant than me. But well, I'm headed back. I can try to do breakfast here soon and get out in that trail early. Good morning, moziers. Why you look sad? This opens in 10 minutes. He's gonna have to calm down. <laughs> Look at this view behind us. It's so pretty. I know Kenny already got up and walked out here and showed you around while I was sleeping. But we're ready to do this trail, right, babe? Yeah. We're gonna eat some breakfast, check out of our room, pack the car, and then Kenny's gonna go make me walk a million bajillion steps. Good for you. Yeah. Hopefully, we can show you a waterfall at the end. Yeah, at the beginning. At the beginning? Just the whole thing. The whole thing. Oh, you've done it. It's been a long time, as Kenny blatantly mentioned <laughs> earlier in the video. So, we're going to go have some fun. You got to go load the car. I was going to film you loading the car. Oh, you're his helper. No, I'm not. <laughs> I can't. I'm holding a camera. He thinks I could do too many things at one time. I did it for you yesterday. Well, I was occupied yesterday. And now I'm occupied again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for one day. We didn't mess that room up that bad. I'm just looking at the view one last time before you load the car. Good job with my bag there, baby. See, I knew he wouldn't really let me help him load the car. Because he likes to be the friendly man. And I was like, babe, really, I could carry my bag. And he's like, it's already in my hand. I got it. Let's go. So, I'm just carrying a water bottle and a camera. I have to say, breakfast was a good bit better than dinner did. Kenny and my thought is it's really hard to mess up breakfast. <laughs> it still looks like the refrigerated freezer stuff, but it probably tastes good. Let's see. All right, so we finished breakfast. Um, breakfast is $15 a person for the buffet, which that's all they have. It's not like you, you have to choose. Uh, so $15 a person for breakfast buffet, and it's $20 a person for the dinner buffet. Um, so lunch is probably 18 Lunch is probably still 20 so here is our review of the restaurant. Breakfast, it seemed worth it. It's a little expensive still for what it is because it was still all like frozen food that they took out of the freezer and heated up. Um, but it's, it's, I don't know. Breakfast is just, it seems more doable to me. Because it's hard, I just feel like it's harder to mess up breakfast. 
Uh, dinner, definitely not worth it. It just wasn't good, was it? I mean, I didn't go to bed hungry. No. So that wasn't nice, but. I mean, if you already drove up here yeah, on the mountain. Yeah, once you're up the mountain, you're like in the, it might as well just go and eat. But yeah, and you're staying at the lodge. Like if you were camping, they have a campground up here. And that's what we're doing right now. We're walking down to see the campground. No, I'm not. You gotta drive to the campground. We're doing a circle. I thought we were walking to the <laughs> campground. He, see, he doesn't tell me things. Okay, well, we are walking right now in the woods for some This is the warm-up loop. Oh, we're just warming up. This is the, uh, the, like the lodge loop up here at the top of the mountain. It looks pretty short and easy, so we're going to do this. What are we going to do? Stay. Okay. So that's apparently what we're doing. I'm glad that we know together. Um, so we're going to do this warm-up loop. We're going to go check out, get in a car. We are going to go see the campground, though, right? Yeah, we're going to try to drive through it. So we're going to go look at the campground because they have one here. And um, you guys know we like to camp, so we're going to see what... Got scout. We're going to see, yeah, if, if we like it, if it looks good. Um, we were just talking, like, if you were staying at the campground, we could see coming over to the lodge for breakfast. Um, because Kenny doesn't like to cook breakfast when we're camping. Bear poop. Not bear poop. Bear poop. It's definitely some kind of poop, but it's not bear poop. And, um but not dinner. But if you're staying at the lodge and you don't have a camper or a, a means of cooking, I could see eating dinner to not have to go back down the mountain to Dawsonville or Dahlonega to have to go get dinner. <clears throat> All right, let's walk this loop. I saw this loop on my walk this morning and I thought about walking down it, but it was dark and I didn't want to run into a bear. There's lots of bears up here. Black bears though. I mean, not that you really want to run into a black bear, because it's still a bear, but they're not very aggressive. Maybe a spider. They're more likely to run away from you. The camera can't really see it, baby. Oh, nope, it can. Ooh. The back of the spider? Mm -hmm. I'll do it. Okay. Serious concentration with the toothpick. Couldn't get it to focus. I tried to take a picture of a cool spider in Carolina Beach too. It's the same thing. There's art in the making, people. You want to try with my phone? Mm -hmm. I have a newer phone than he yeah, does. That's cool. I'll try your new phone. The walking trail they have right here by the lodge is paved. Not a lot of trails to the woods is, are paved trails. Let's see how long it is. Did you see a sign that says how long it is? No, it doesn't look like a small circle. Okay, let's go find out. Look, they even got little lamp light. Yeah, That's looks. the first one I've seen though, so I feel like it'd still be hard to Hard time walking through here at night. Oh no, there's one over there. Oh, maybe you could walk around here at night. Anybody else getting like Narnia vibes from the lamp in the middle of the woods? Where'd you go? You went to the trail or something. Yes, dear, that is a lantern. That looks like a beehive. Yep. I don't think that lantern's working anymore. Yeah, that's fine. Well, let's keep moving. I'm allergic. Oh, this is good. Here, more bear poop. Don't thank this bear, darling. <laughs> well, you can't have a dog in the lodge. Well, there are deer around here. Yeah, not bear, deer poop. Well, it's not bear. Little it's, bear bear. It's tiny. We have little bears. Bears are big. No. Every bear I've ever seen out here looks like a dog. Well, you let us know. Except for the ones that weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below. Is that a bear or is it something smaller? Do you agree with Heather or Kitty? Pick your side. <laughs> Black bears? Yeah. Um, Those are the 
campground Vogel bears. Those I was about to say, re remember when we were at Vogel and you put me in a hammock and in the middle of the night, I got greeted by a bear. It was no little black bear. Not it was human bear. It was crack of dawn. Yeah, but still, you were sleeping. And I was in the hammock like a bear burrito. Well, I didn't leave the burritos out, did I? I didn't either. Russell did. Russell, remember that? Yeah, Russell. <laughs> Here's your plug. We know you watch. Leaving the Doritos out so Ann Heather can be eaten. That was a long time ago. Well, I see the lodge through the trees. So yes, this was a very tiny little loop. It's kind of enough to stretch your legs. It's all paved. There were really hardly any hills in it. Just a little stroll through the woods. I mean, someone on a wheelchair could do this with it being paved. So very accessible little jaunt. It's about as easy as a hike gets, folks. And yet, I still feel a little winded, I ain't gonna lie. Man, I need to get out and exercise more. All right, babe, where are we going now? We're gonna go walk to our room and check out, make sure we're all good to go. And then? Go look at the campground. And then? The bottom of the stairs. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. The ironic part is that we're already at the top of the stairs now. And he wants to drive me to the bottom, so I have to walk up. We could just park at the top since we're already here, but we gotta earn it. <sighs> and we gotta show you the stairs that is Amicola and the waterfall. So this is for you folks. Also, Kenny's making me. Here you go. It's called the Lodge Loop. It's only a quarter mile. Easy terrain. Like I said, it's all paved. And I told you, even someone in a wheelchair could do it. I saw it. Hey, so it's a handicap accessible trail. Nice, easy to do out in the morning. And Kenny said he already showed you this, but... Be bear aware. There is a bear sign. I still don't think it was bear poop. Y'all let us know. seems fairly private. These are not the ones in the middle here. Bathhouse. They got these little camping, glamping nerd things. Yeah, with a little back private porch. That's pretty cool. Hmm, there were several of them. Yeah, I mean, it seems like, looks like a pretty nice campsite. They're not smushed in, which is what I always like about state parks. State parks usually do a much better job They're of that. They're all kind of on like elevated pads, too. Yeah. Look at this one. You have, like, almost complete privacy. You have a wall yeah, all around you. <laughs> okay, so in case anyone's wondering, this is the parking lot for the top of the waterfall. If you listen, you can actually hear the waterfall. But Kenny said, nope. You gotta drive down because you have to earn that vista, Heather. <laughs> so down we go. Oh, how the tables have turned. Now it is I who walked behind you with the camera. Look, everybody, she wore tennis shoes. Oh my God, look at this terrain. Uh-huh. So. We are at the bottom of the falls. Bottom well, of the falls. Not even yet. We're at the root creek. We follow the creek for a little bit until we get to the bottom of the falls. Yeah. And then we start the stairs to go to the top of the falls. Yeah. You should know the last time I did these stairs, I was a teenager. And uh, I remember it being very difficult. So I'm no longer a teenager, like far from it. So I'm. I, this is going to be a difficult hike for me. So, yep. If I can't breathe the next time I talk to you, I'm sorry. I'll do my best. It's so far away. Yeah. You see that? That's where we have to get. That's where we just were. You see how high that is? Oh, Lord.
It's so green. It's like a jungle. Break number one. We haven't even hit staircase yet, but so far we've walked up a massive hill. So, need some water, need a break. I, I'm not sure how many breaks it's gonna take for me to get up this thing, but. So far, I don't know if you can tell. The whole thing's been like this. Just uphill. Up with the whole way. You saw what the waterfall was just so far up this hill. Kenny's leaving me. Unfortunately, we've lost Heather. She's not gonna make it. But here's the actual base of the falls. Ain't it pretty? And the start of the stairs. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> but look at that. Smile. That's good enough. I just want to drive to the top. The stairs of doom. Oh wait, let's see. You can see them. They go all the way up there. Heather's heart just broke. So when she gets to this up the sign, she goes, oh wait, that part was 175 steps? I thought it was the whole thing. Now we have a 425 steps to go. Holy mackerel. More stairs of doom. Well, I knew there were more stairs, but I thought the whole thing, they were saying the whole thing was 175 <laughs> stair count. Yeah, I thought 175 didn't seem like a whole lot. Heather? Break three. It's only third? Yeah, it's only my third break. And I'm at what? Marker 10. Which does not mean mile 10. No, I know that, but it means something. So, one through 10. Done. Check. First 175 steps, check. We're at some point in the 425. Look at them, they just keep wrapping around. They just keep going up. Break four. We think this is the numbers are individual staircases. They're either individual staircases or level of stories you've walked up. I'm not sure. Can you think maybe floors? I don't know. Break six. I think I'm starting to lose count. There's a beautiful bench. Kenny won't let me sit on. I don't know. Something about helping my legs. Get too much lactic acid built up if you sit back down. And then it's harder to keep going. I know words are coming out, but this is all I'm hearing. Is this you got it.
it's just a creek up here. Isn't it cool that all that water falls from this little creek? Like this little creek. This is the part I'm not looking forward to. Yeah, go down. Yeah, I got a bad knee. The down always hurts. Sometimes going down is just as hard as getting up. I will say this part about going down. So going up, you definitely hit your calves, quads, and hamstrings. No, I'm sorry, calves, glutes, and hamstrings. Going down, it's all quads. Gotta get that even worked out. Isn't that right, babe? That's right. All of my leg is burning, the whole thing. <laughs> I will say this, if you're coming up here, the best view is probably this bridge right here. Because you can look up the falls, down the falls, and that across. Uh, and then you don't have to do the 475 or 25 or whatever million steps those are. Uh, so you can skip the really hard part. And it is very pretty. We came. We saw. We conquered. We conquered. We did it. How do you feel, babe? Good. Legs feel worked. Yeah. Tomorrow, my legs are going to be very upset with me. Monday at, at school. No carpet time for Miss Paramore. <laughs> yeah. But I feel good that we did that because now we're about to go ride in the car for a while. Yeah. And I don't feel like I'm just going to be eating breakfast and sitting around all day. Yeah. So. We got a six hour ride home. We're gonna start heading that way now. Um, might stop at the mall, do a little shoe shopping. Bryson has absolutely no tennis shoes that fit his feet right yeah, now. He's been wearing a Crocs, his Crocs to school every day. Yeah, which is not good for the kids <laughs> that age because they don't stay on well, so. His feet just grew all of a sudden. They really did. So we gotta go get him some shoes. Probably eat lunch somewhere down the way. And we still have to make it all the way home and then go to. Hey, we to get yeah. the boy. Kenny's parents' house and go get our son yep. and the dogs. Yep. So we have a long evening ahead of us. A lot of car. A lot of car. A lot of riding. All right, we've made it to North Carolina, and we only got like maybe two hours home, right, babe? Yeah. A little over two hours home. It's not like we're just we're we're mostly there. So we're gonna go ahead and sign off now. We're not doing anything else interesting on this trip, so we wanted to say goodbye. Anything you want to say, dear? I hate I-85. We, we got stuck in traffic. We got stuck in some major traffic. Forever. Yeah, I'm going to drive now because he's upset. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drive. <laughs> Let him nap. All right, so with that, please like and subscribe. And mosey, mosey on. on. All right, babe, where are we going now? Well, I'm going to have to cut that out. <laughs> Let's try it again. All right, babe, where are we going now? <laughs> Do we lie to them? <laughs> <laughs>